So I want to focus more on the the smaller artists because I think that's closer to the experience of most people watching this podcast and, you know, start to get some of those initial fans, start to generate that initial excitement. Because for a lot of artists, if they announce that, if they did put out an album and announce an album, there's not going to be like a huge anticipation right out the gate. Like they're starting to, to build. So what is some of the things or just, some advice for those artists that are starting to build their fan base, just maybe just in terms of releasing music, how they should be approaching social media. What, what does that advice look like versus a trip you read? Yeah, I think it's key to focus, in my opinion, like these three things, and they're not like the three things, but things that like stand out to me that are super important is one, there's like thousands of music, there's thousands of songs that are released every day, right? So like how how do you stand out? Why are you important? Why should anyone even care? Right. And when you think of these larger artists, immediately you think of certain aesthetics or you think of a brand or you think of something that reminds you of them. Right. Like if I were to tell you, like, tell me about Megan the Stallion, you'd be like, oh, like she dances really well. She's tall. Like she's she's very independent. She has great style. Like all these things come to mind on top of like her powerful music, right? So what are the key like branding things about you that make you important? Like, did you grow up somewhere and you really love repping your city? Do you really like playing video games? Like whatever it is about you that makes you you, you have to try and really like kind of build a world around your music, right? So you're not just releasing, yes, everyone can just release music, but what is the aesthetic and the vibe you're trying to tell either either just per project, right? Like either per project, you create an aesthetic in a world, but at the end of the day, you should also be like something that can easily be recognizable. So that's the first thing is like be super unique and recognizable. And the way to do that is is not to fake it or try to mimic what anyone else is doing. It's really just really doubling down on what makes you you and what do you really love doing and communicating that to fans. Because that also aids in like content, right? So like if you do really love playing video games, like go live, like go stream when you're playing a video game, play your music in the background. Like that's another way to connect to fans that might, that, you know, you connect to someone who likes video games and just happens to catch you streaming, but also hears your song and goes, oh my God, this person makes music. If you like doing your makeup, show everybody how you do your makeup before a show or do my makeup in the studio before I record so-and-so. So it's really about like branding and finding things that are unique about yourself. The other thing is I feel like a lot of people stress out, right? Because there's so many different outlets to communicate with fans, right? So it's like, I can't keep up, you know, that aesthetic on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and Snapchat and Tumblr and all. It's just endless and on TikTok. It just doesn't end. So thing I thing I find helpful is like, what comes to you naturally? Like, are you more active on Twitter or are you more active on Instagram? And once you really find a way like the channel that you communicate to your, that you can communicate to your fans the most direct way and the most and it's easiest to you and you feel like you're getting the most engagement you naturally gravitate to that platform to communicate to fans use that as your main building block and then at the end of the day you can just syndicate some of that content to the other channel so that it still lives people can still find you but it's not like your main point of entry right so like Anything you post on Instagram Reels can also be posted to TikTok. Anything you post on Instagram Stories can be posted to Twitter Fleets, can be posted on Snapchat. So use your main like thing that you're good at using and engaging fans with and be consistent with it. And then just syndicate that content elsewhere so that at least your reach is still there, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's it on the digital side. Um, what was I forgot the third thing. <laughs> I think it was wrapped into the brands. <laughs> No, I mean that's awesome. It, it's a lot of the stuff that we we that we time and time again in terms of like having that unique story and being able to tell your story so that you know people start to uh, become to just like you as a person. Because what I've experienced and what I've seen is like if people like you, your music sounds better to people that just like you. Uh, not to take any pressure off of making great music, but you know if people like you, I think they really buy into to all of you.